had a question about the liquidity in the e micros or the micro e mini S&P and e mini S&P. Here it is in TradeStation at MES. You can also use at MES.D for the micro e mini S&P and at ES is the e mini S&P. So when you take a look at the order book, you see the total number of bids and offers. Um, here are the offers in the red and the bids are in the blue for the e mini S&P. And over on the micros, the bids are also in the blue and the offers are in the red. You see that here. And so you see um, you see how liquid this really is. Um, it's fairly close to where the E-mini S&Ps are. This is at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so the market's moving a little bit faster. And oftentimes when the market moves a little bit faster, liquidity is a little bit thinner. Um, but when, when the market stabilizes and also at, at 9.30 when the market opens, there's, there's a little bit more liquidity than what you see in both order books. But the E-Micros closely match the E-Minis, uh, E-Mini S&P. The Micro E-Mini S&P matches the E-Mini S&P closely. And there's, there are market makers and arbitragers between the two. And so the liquidity is very sound for trading the, the Micros instead of the E-mini S&Ps and so the micros are one-tenth of the size and so a move in the E-mini S&P so if you bought it here at uh, 28.46 and you sold it at 28.47 that's fifty dollars minus your commission and then over here on the micros same the same trade would be buying it at 28.46 selling it at 28.47 would be five dollars your margin would be your your profit would be one tenth. Your margin would be one tenth. Your risk to to your stop loss would be one tenth, wherever that would be, point value wise. And then your commission could be a variable that is slightly different. And a lot of the brokers have lowered commissions. I know some have lowered it to zero. They're still going to be NFA fees, and so um, zero commissions for some brokers through the end of the year. And so, if you want a list of those, you can contact me. You still pay, you're still going to have to pay the exchange fee, NFA fee uh, per trade, but maybe the actual brokerage commission is lower. And so, brokers are working on um, pretty close to a n numbers for those that are roughly one tenth, so that if you trade 10, the goal would be that if you trade 10 micros, your slippage and commission factor would be the same thing as one e mini. So the liquidity is there for the slippage, and the commission is fairly close for a lot of brokers. It's, it's going to be slightly higher, um, and so that is the update on um, micro liquidity versus e-mini S&P liquidity.